Now to the Trump presidency. The United States expelled 60 Russian diplomats today and ordered Russia's consulate in Seattle to close. This comes after the poisoning of a Russian ex-spy and his daughter in Britain. CBS 4's Kenneth Craig is at the U.N. with more. The White House says 48 diplomats from the Russian embassy and 12 more from the Russian mission to the United Nations have one week to leave the country. The expulsions follow the nerve agent attack on former Russian spy Sergei Skripal and his daughter in England earlier this month. The poisoning in the UK uh, that, that has kind of led to today's announcement uh, was a very brazen action. It was a reckless action. The U.S. is also closing the Russian consulate in Seattle, which is close to a U.S. naval base. The Trump administration says all 60 diplomats are actually spies working under diplomatic cover. Today's action, um, actions make the United States safer by reducing Russia's ability to spy on Americans and to conduct covert operations and threaten America's national security. British Prime Minister Theresa May says a total of 18 countries, including many in the European Union, are expelling more than 100 Russian intelligence officers in response to the incident. We will not tolerate Russia's continued attempts to flout international law and undermine our values. Here at the United Nations, the British ambassador to the UN applauded the expulsions. It's very welcome uh, that our allies have shown such solidarity. Russia denies being behind the poisoning and calls the dismissals an unfriendly act. It is expected to retaliate, possibly by expelling an equal number of diplomats. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, the United Nations. And senior White House officials estimate that Russia has roughly 100 intelligence officials at its diplomatic posts here in the U.S., suggesting that dozens will remain even after the 60 are expelled.